when I was just a boy, I remember my father had this giant garden. And one day I was out there with him in the garden. And I remember I asked him, I said, where did tomatoes come from? And so he took one of the tomatoes and he opened it up. And he took one of the seeds out. And he showed it to me and he said, you see this seed right here? He said, this, this seed right here will transform into a tomato. It'll grow into a tomato. And so I took the seed from him and I proceeded to crush it open, to mash it open. And I said, there's no tomatoes in here. See, because at that time in my life, I couldn't even begin to understand how that tiny little seed could grow into a tomato. I couldn't even begin to understand how the invisible could turn into the visible. I couldn't even begin to understand potential. And see, our dreams are very often just like that little tomato seed. To those that are unfamiliar with the concept of the seed, it is almost inconceivable of how it could transform into a plant, into a tree, into a fruit. Just like how your dreams are going to seem impossible and inconceivable to almost everyone that you share them with. See, all that a dream really represents is just mere potential. That is all. The seed alone is not enough to grow tomatoes. That seed will need to be planted. That seed will need to be watered. That seed will need to be nourished. And maybe, just maybe, if not eaten by all the bugs, infected with mold, eaten by animals, eaten by the birds, hit by a drought, and so forth, then maybe, just maybe, it will grow into a plant that has tomatoes. And see, just like that seed, all a dream, all your dream really represents is just mere potential for something greater. See, simply having a dream is not enough. Your dream will need to be nourished and taken care of and maybe, just maybe, if not beaten down by all the critics, all the naysayers, all your self-limiting beliefs and your fears, then maybe, just maybe, your dream can grow into something incredible. Because see, life doesn't care about your dreams. Life doesn't care about your goals. Life doesn't care if you are a good person or not. Life will just continue on with or without you. And that's why if you want your dreams to become a reality, then you need to be that seed that doesn't need much to succeed. You have to draw a state from within. When no one else believes in you, when the only person left that believes in you in your dream is that person that is left standing looking back at you on the other side of the mirror just like that seed if you want to transform your body into the body of your dreams and you are going to have to work harder than you've ever worked in your life if you want to transform your financial situation so that you can buy the house of your dream the car of your dreams the lifestyle of your dreams then you are going to have to work harder than you've ever worked. Because just having a dream is not enough. A dream is just mere potential. So I challenge you to be the guardian of the seed of your dream and watch it blossom.